So we've got two figures, figure A and figure B. We need to assess them. Circle the type of symmetry that each figure shows. Well, we've already worked with a figure like this, and we know that it's got line symmetry vertically and horizontally, but not diagonally. So figure A definitely has line symmetry. Now the question is, does it have rotational symmetry? So the original shape, it looks like a dumbbell. Now it looks like an hourglass. Oh, we're back to a dumbbell. So that's one. Hourglass. So two. So it does have rotational symmetry. So in actual fact, I shouldn't have circled that. It's got both line symmetry and rotational symmetry. For figure A, draw the lines of symmetry. Well, I already got that done. Order of symmetry for A, we said was two. So now let's look at B. If we draw a dotted line down the middle here, we can see that both sides are not the same. This rectangle is lower down, this one's higher up. Uh, if we draw a horizontal line, you know, this rectangle is further left, that one's further right, so that doesn't work. Now diagonally, you might think that it is going to work, but if you go at a 45 degree angle across the center of this thing, it's not actually going to work. And maybe I'll just draw a line here as an example so that we can see it. Make that vertical. You can see, based on this line of symmetry, that these would not reflect properly. And it would be the same deal if you went with the other oblique. So there's no lines of symmetry on B. However, if you rotate it, same shape, that's one, two, three, four. So it does have rotation symmetry. And the order of rotation in this case is four. Part D, how can you make each design using part of the figure and translations, reflections, or rotations? So for figure A, you could use half of the shape and reflect it. So you could take the left side or the right side and you can reflect it on the vertical line of symmetry or you can take half top half and reflect it on the horizontal line to give you the bottom half either way that works um, use half of the shape and reflect it um, vertically actually I should have this in here or horizontally obliquely won't work Obliquely will not work for figure A. Um, maybe I'll take a highlighter and show you half that you're going to use. So you can take the highlighted half and reflect that. For part B, there are no lines of symmetry on that one, so you're not going to be able to use reflection. Um, and translation won't work either in this particular instance. You're going to have to use a rotation. What you could do is take this much of the shape here. Uh, oh, no, too much. So, everything that's highlighted here, you can take that. So it starts there, 
and ends here. And you can rotate it around this center point. And then that little snippet can be rotated and created. So, um, take the highlighted portion and rotate it uh, three times around the indicated point the indicated uh, actually we'll call it center of rotation So you take that, rotate this once, twice, three times, and that will complete your shape. And that is your show you know.